The Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich, at the Jacklich Law Group. <laughs> Good afternoon from CQ Stadium, Maryland, all over Towson. Bruce, Mason, this starts year 12 of Turp Talk in this current format. It has been a heck of a ride. It's a nice way to start off this game. Bruce, wasn't much of a game, but what'd you see out there? I liked Octavian Smith. I thought Talia was on the money. He had a couple drops. I liked the fact they sang amen at the end. I thought that was big. Yeah. Uh, defense was strong. I mean, I. Towson is kind of a new quarterback, a new system, but uh, Maryland dominated to the max. And it was a, uh, well, I hate to say an easy win, but uh, they certainly weren't challenged too much. And to Loxley's credit, he totally caught off the dogs, there's no doubt. He did. Billy Williams, your guy, got a good. Billy Edwards, I'm sorry, Billy Edwards had a nice drive there for a touchdown. And uh, what did you think, Wayne? Well, I, usually Mason gets to go next. Coolest thing I saw, other than the Amen course at the end, was the light show that they played a little bit of as Maryland won the game. And here's some of the guys having a good time as the game ends singing the fight song. Not much of a contest, so we'll pick it out. What did you think of that offense? Yeah, I like the way they moved the ball around. A lot of rotation today, a lot of guys getting through there. I think they're going to go back, have to evaluate some things. And kind of a sleeper is Corey Bullock, the guy who's playing right guard right now for Maryland. Got a lot of reps today at center, which I think is something to watch uh, over the next couple weeks. But really, a lot of new guys on the field for Maryland. Towson team that I think looked really good for the first game of a coaching tenure, completely different system for them this year. Terps really got to work on running the football, short yardage. Uh, Antoine Littleton, I don't think is the answer. We've talked a lot on the podcast about Kobe McDonald as a short yardage back. Really liked what I saw out of him, but not not too much Kobe McDonald and Ramon Brown hurt. So we'll see kind of how that running back and short yardage packages work uh, as the year goes on. Look, the offensive line ends up starting a walk-on at right tackle due to injuries. Running game was not as good as you would have liked it. Overall, I think the defense is more impressive than the offense. I think that defensive yeah. line has the size that you're talking about. You look at the offensive line, and they don't have the size that you'd like to see. Walk on right tackle, but a guy, WCAC, Gonzaga, 6'8", 300 pounds in his fourth year at Maryland. I, I, he is a walk on, that is true, but a guy who's been through the program, has been on the travel roster now for three years. So he's definitely been in rotationally he's not a fourth string guy that's a first string guy this year if you have six seven three hundred pound walk-ons your program's getting somewhere bruce before we go to break uh highlight of the game for you highlight of the game for me was uh i think octavian smith's touchdown catch it was a tough catch and i like to lead his run what did you have to glean from this game it's so hard to judge anything when it's so one-sided you know what i mean it's hard to say well, Talia looked, I don't know what he did wrong, okay? He, he wasn't near an interception. He didn't fumble. He had two touchdown passes that were dropped. He threw one 50 yards in the air that Ty Felton could hold on to. He hit, he, again, he loves the tight ends. Corey Deitch just had a nice game. And he was uh, a fourth year, a fifth year, sixth year, whatever he is, Talia. And if he can play like that the whole year, he never really, what I like, never put himself in harm's way today, all right? couple runs, but he never put himself in harm's way. And as much as you love Billy Edwards, we need Talia to win. We really do. Now, if Billy Edwards plays five games. <laughs> we we, we got to go with this already. As right. much as I love Billy Edwards, well, you do but love I do. Him. I you do. do love him. What are you I talking do. about? You saw I can't wait to Billy. Only you, the only person in this stadium of 35,000 probably, who said, I can't wait for Billy Edwards. <laughs> and, and on that, we'll go to break. As always, brought to you by Viner Forgates, your hometown IT Terrapin specialist. 
and the big dog himself, Rick Jacklitz, will be back in College Park in a moment, and then on to the press conference. The biggest difference in a truck accident versus a car crash is the investigation that the lawyer has to do right from the beginning of the case. Number one is obtaining the logbooks of the driver to show that the driver was not rested properly according to federal law. Uh, investigating through the black box and getting an expert to figure out from the black box of the truck the speed of the truck or where the truck had been. Usually you have catastrophic injuries involved with tractor trailers as well. So it's a different ball game. And if people are injured in a truck crash, they really, really need to find a lawyer that knows what he's doing with truck crashes. Coming back. All right. Back here at CQ Stadium. Uh, you got some upcoming things to talk about. We'll start with the first thing. There's a game here next Saturday night against Charlotte. Should be a bigger crowd, more fun, and they promised that they're going to put on a real light show with these new LED lights. But beyond that, you got uh, an announcement today. Yeah, we're going to have a show uh, probably thrice monthly with Rick Jacklitz, really talking about not only Maryland, about the Orioles, about the Ravens, and if the Commanders do well, probably toss in a little bit about them, but not much. <laughs> but... Uh, the Orioles are hot, you know, let's face it, yeah. they have taken over Baltimore right now. And they are on absolute fire, although you lose a couple games, you start to have worries, but you got a nice lead and their playoff position is pretty safe. Well, you're going to have to talk about who's going to be closing these games out, but you have to tune in and watch coming up on Big Thursday. news that happened today, for whatever reason, the Orioles re-signed Jorge Lopez. All right, which is what I thought they'd do after they traded him to Minnesota. And set up Bautista's. Good evening. Welcome to the Pink Quarter. Right. Mason, get this wrapped up. And we're going to have an instant reaction podcast. We're going to shoot up on Pinker. And I guess that's it for us from CQ. Terps top the Tigers. That's it. We got to go inside for the press conference. Good afternoon. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>